Um, you had Tommy and Ian fighting last weekend, Billy. Uh, how did you rate the performance? Uh, Ian uh, works really well behind his jab and you know, just putting in very good body shots. It's, he was fighting a very experienced gentleman. Uh, Casey's he's been in with the best in the country. Uh, I was well happy with, with Ian's performance. You know, and he, he's progressing really, really well. Better than what I thought, actually. Um, I see Tommy has already signed up to fight uh, McCallum in October after some Twitter exchanges. Uh, how do you see that fight going? I think it's a good fight for both boys. Uh, you know, the Twitter's just a bad banter on Twitter, isn't it? But, uh, well, Tom, Tommy, Tommy's right up for the fight. I mean, I personally think he wins the fight with stoppage and quite comfortably as well. Uh, John's, John's been saying that, you know, he, he's this, that, and the next thing. He thinks he's worthy of domestic fight now, but he's now he's got it. So, you know, it's, it's worked out well for both guys. Big fight for Edinburgh. So, if, if, if John McCallum's got the skills that he says he's got, that improve it. Yeah, it was just when you were actually saying there, I mean, to ask you that, it's like, how many fights seem to be made on Twitter nowadays? It's, 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 it's been brilliant, you know. It's it is, it is good, it is good. There's not meant to be any malice or nastiness in it. It's just a very good fight for both guys. It, it, it's kind of the same stages of their career now. Right? One's ten and one, one's I think it's nine and zero. Yeah. But Tommy's coming down for light heavyweight. He's a big light heavyweight. He's going to be a massive super middleweight, massive. And let me tell you, this boy can punch. Yeah, I'd seen you saying that before. It's, a, it's the first time. He's only been with me seven weeks, and we corrected a lot, a lot of wrongs. But it's the first time in seven weeks he had a pair of ten ounces on, and look what look at the devastation he done there. Punches. Yeah, I've seen him saying that he was uh, he had no problem making the weight, he was actually struggling to hold the weight at this time. Well, we, yeah, he was holding that weight for three days, which won't happen obviously again. Mm -hmm. But we didn't want to come in at 12 3, 12 2. It's just crazy. Um, McCallum is also shouting some other stuff on Twitter. He's at a claim that he'd schooled David Brophy. Uh, was there any substance to that? Well, as far as I remember, I think, I think John's been in my gym twice. And there's no substance whatsoever to that, to that statement. I don't know where he's got it from. He's also claimed that he fought him, but he didn't. So, you know, I, d I don't know where he... Maybe he fought him one night, and then the alarm bell went off and he got up in the morning. You know, but they certainly never fought, and that fight wouldn't happen, because David's, David's in the top ten in the world in one of, one of the organisations, just outside number one. John McCallum's number 29 in Britain. Mm. So there's a big golf goal. Uh, golf there. Uh, that, that fight shouldn't have happened. Yeah. Um, the last time I was through, I was uh, we were talking to big Gary Cornish, and he was really up and looking in great shape for his British title fight, but uh, it was postponed. Um, but how did big Gary feel about it? Was he gutted? Of course he was gutted. I, uh, he's, I've now given him a month off a of gym. He's, he's, he's actually, as we speak, in Ibiza, and he's he's a uh, head night. And, uh, <laughs> He'll be back on Monday and he gets married on the 1st of July, so hopefully he'll be back in the gym maybe the 5th or the 6th, something like that. Yeah, for a ginger guy, he likes to go places where there's a lot of sun, eh? Ah, he's got 5 to 50, mate. <laughs> um, will it still be Sam Sexton and he's going to be fighting for the British title or will it be somebody else? Well, as far as I know, it's still Sam Sexton because uh, the board made the fight, Sam pulled it injured. So there's no reason for it not to be Sam Sexton. But that's as far as I know anyway. Right. Is there any end have you heard anything from the board about uh, when the fight might be taking place now? Nothing. Nothing. Um a few weeks ago I'd seen you and Dave Allen having a couple of exchanges uh, about Big Gary Cornish, about remarks he'd made to Sky Sports. Uh, would that be a fight you would like to see made in the future or? Well, you know, Dave had his chance at Commonwealth and he lost, didn't he? So I, I was proved right. I, I said that I didn't think he quite had it for domestic level. He lost to the Jamaican guy, uh, and I thought it was, you know, about, about two or three rounds. Uh, he's a nice big guy, you know. He's good. He's a decent fighter, but I think Gary uh, Gary beats him every day of the week, uh, and you know I, st I, st I, st I stick by that. You know, he's say he's saying that he wobbled him and swung. Gary totally. Denies that, you know, comment for for Dave, but it's, 
listen, Spanish Mason, it's a bit of banter the day, big day. You know, he's a good laugh. He's like, I, I wished him well. I sent him a private message wishing him well. I said before the fight, because obviously I want a British guy to be any form guy. And he, he texts us back, thanks very much, mate. So, you know, there's no bad feeling. The big man knows what's the script. It's a bit Aye. of banter. The same as the McCallum and, and Tommy thing. It was a bit of banter on Twitter. Get the fight made. Two good, two good boys fighting for a, a decent title, a Celtic title, in Edinburgh. You know, at this stage of their career, they should be, they should be biting the arm off each other. There should be no, if, you know, shall I fight him, shall I not fight him? Tommy, aye, straight away. And then credit to John McCallum, he took it the next day as well. Yeah, uh, that's that's fun. As you say with Dave Allen, he has a genuine big guy. Yeah, yeah. That's why people, the people love him on Twitter. Right? Yeah, it's just a big Jimmy guy. I mean, I was watching his interview. Uh, I think it was live from London uh, about you know his gambling issues and that. And I hardly went out to him. Ah, uh, that that just said he got a lot of love on Twitter for that. Hey, he took a lot of guts to kind of open up. Oh, very much so, hey. Um, and uh, just to finish up with Jason Easton, got a big opportunity in the Josh Taylor undercard. Uh, but his opponent, I noticed, I was only checking his box trick, he's got nearly than twice the uh, amount of fights than, uh, as Jason has, and I think he's like 19 and 3. Uh, I thought that might, might be wrong here, but. 23 and 3. Is it 23 and 3? 23 and 3. Three. Uh, and Jason's on his ninth pro, well, this will be his 10th yeah. pro fight. Uh, that's a bit of a gap in experience there. Uh, do you think he's got confidence in him? Uh, he's mm -hmm. stepping up. 100% confidence in Jason, you know, he's one of the, the most improved fighters in the country and that's a great credit to Kenny McCartney who's his, who's his coach, the, the boy's getting physically stronger, he's working with a great strength and conditioning trainer, uh, he's, you know, he's just improving it all round as a fighter, you know, he's, he's, he's fought for the Celtic title, stopped the boy in the second, beat uh, Laszlo, whatever his name is, the Hungarian boy, Who's a tough, tough guy? You know, it took it took I think Robbie Davis nine rounds to beat him. Hara Davis five rounds. So, right, Jason Easton should be getting talked about in the same level as these guys. I would have no qualms putting uh, Jason Easton in with Hara Davis when Hara, uh, in my opinion, loses against Josh Taylor. No problem whatsoever. But we we've got a plan. We've got a plan to cycle and promotions for Jason Easton. And I'm very, very excited about it. Is uh, so I take it you is Jason got a deal with Cyclone, yeah? Or is it just I'm, a fight I'm, by I'm fight I'm deal? I manage Jason. Uh, we will be fighting the novel uh, Cyclone promotion shows. Uh, it's just quite good for the uh, Scottish boxing. Uh, with Cyclones getting quite involved in uh, there, uh, they've got Josh Taylor, they've got uh, C. Joe Hams fighting yeah, on so the Cyclone Joe's card. A, You've Joe's, a great, Joe's a great addition. Uh, he boxed really, really well against the. Uh, it was Scott McKenzie uh, uh, and Ricky Burns is under guard the last fight, you know, he controlled the fight really, really well. Uh, he's an exciting prospect. Uh, I believe I believe Jason, you know, I know I know the plan that's in place for Jason. And we're really, really excited about it. If we can win this IBU Intercontinental title, uh, I've, I've been assured that we're, we're going to be on the undercard of Carl Frampton, which is only three weeks later. But as long as he comes through this fight, unscathed and wins the fight and he's, he's fighting a, a massive show in Belfast which can only enhance his, his uh, profile, profile at, you know, cut, you know, right across Britain and uh, you know, I'm really excited about Jason and what, what what plans are for him. Cyclone Promotions run a great show, you know what I mean, between Cyclone Promotions and MTK Scotland, Scot Scottish boxing is flourishing so it is. Mm. You know, there's a lot of young guys coming through, uh, and there's, there's a, the problem we've got now is there's no top level fighters. We've not got any top level fighters, but we've got good domestic level mm. fighters. You've got Stephen Simmons, he'll be fighting for a title this year. David Brophy's already the Commonwealth champion. Big Gary's going to fight for the British. Jason Easton, he's fighting for IBO on the Continental. You know, and hopefully the weather titles in the pipeline. Uh, You've got likes of Joe Ham coming through, Lewis Pollen, Lewis Benson's a good wee fighter, Stephen Tiffany. There's a, there's a lot, a lot of good fighters. Like Tommy Falvin, mm. John McCann. You know what I mean? There's, a, there's good fighters there. There's you good fighters there. Lewis Ritson is uh... Lewis, Rit Lewis Ritson's English. Oh, is he English? <laughs> I thought he was up here, eh? But he is. Lewis, <laughs> Lewis Ritson. 
I believe that Lewis Ritson will dominate the British lightweight scene in the next 24 months. Fantastic fighter. Great wee fighter. I, I just, just one other thing popped in my mind there. It was uh, somebody's absolutely trolling Stephen Simmons on Twitter. They're ruining his life. I'm convinced it's you. Do you want to confess? He's what? He's, he's getting trolled on Twitter. Somebody's wrecking his life on Twitter. Oh, Stephen? Uh, Stephen usually just blocks him. <laughs> but it's hanging the guy call, keeps call, making new accounts. And calls him a name. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I don't know where that's coming from. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Stephen deal with that in his own way. <laughs> as he does. He, Stephen's, you know, he's, he, his, his baby's due on Friday. I'm wishing, wishing him well with that. It's tomorrow. Wishing him well with that. And then he, he'll hopefully... He'll be back in the gym full time, ready for a, a big, big fight. Right. Uh, that's all I've got for you today, Billy, mate. Thanks very much. Okay, thanks so much. Right. Cheers, mate.